Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Sarah Beth and this is Sarah Beth Vlogs. In today's video, I wanted to give you a little taste of Christmas. On my channel, I'm not going to be decorating early. I have to be true to myself and I have to use all of the bits of spare time that I have wisely. So for that reason, I will be decorating the weekend after Thanksgiving. I'm going to be in a wedding the weekend after Thanksgiving, the following weekend. Did I say that right? Oh well. So I've got to use my time wisely and that's when I have some time off work that I'm going to be able to decorate. So while I'm watching all of my YouTube friends decorate early, it's given me all the vibes. I couldn't just not give you a little Christmas content when it's my very favorite holiday. So I wanted to share some shopping inspiration for you with you. So I actually went shopping on multiple occasions. So all of this is not all of my decor for the year, but it is what I have purchased so far in 2020. And the majority of what you're going to see are decorations for my home, but there's also a few gifts and maybe some of the decorations that I'm buying for my home, you might want to buy for yours. So I'm going to let you know where I got everything and I hope that you enjoy this little video. I'm going to get started and show you the decorations for the house and tree first. My friend Whitney Gorman, if you know me, I hope by this like far into my YouTube career that you know Whitney Gorman is one of my dearest friends in life and I've known her since she was a teenager. I'm not quite old enough to be her mom, but I feel like I am, but she is my girl. And she showed this little beauty on her channel. And when I saw it, I was like, girl, you know I got to go and get that. So I ran to Hobby Lobby after work and I think whenever she posted the video this week, I ran to Hobby Lobby after work. And y'all know it's a struggle. I'm trying to call it Holly Bobby in my head, but this is a garland that I'm going to put at my front entryway. But because I'm extra, I'm not going to just use this alone. I have a little tiny garland that the girls and I made a year or two ago, and I'm going to weave it or kind of loop it around so that it puts pops of red and green in there. It's kind of one of those ivy kits. Ivy. It's not ivy. It's a uh, holly berries, little holly berries and then holly leaves. And I think we got it at Hobby Lobby, but that's where this came from. So I can't wait to put it up at my entryway so that everybody sees it when they walk into my home. It's just my style and I would honestly like to use it year round, not just Christmas, but that's just me. Stay tuned for that video. Stay tuned. Next up, I got some Buffalo Check Burlap. This is exactly the burlap that I used when I made my wreaths for my front door. Wreath, one wreath for my front door. And I used this and my idea for my tree is to maybe cut some strands of it about like this long. That's probably two foot and loop it around and then connect it at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is stick it in to the tree as filler so that it looks like I've got it really interwoven through the whole tree, but I really won't. I might do it the loop way or I might actually just drape the tree, but I am really into farmhouse decor and the farmhouse theme and black and white buffalo check is You're in my heart now. I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I got this and I thought that would be really fun to experiment with. The third decorations for my tree are these little jingle bells and there are three of them and they came from the at-home store and they're shatterproof and they were $6.99. 
This was $12 a roll, so this was my bougie purchase. And then everything else that you see that I got from Hobby Lobby was 50% off. So the garland was 50% off and it was $14.99 originally, so 50% off that. I like, like I said, farmhouse. I like rustic. I like mixed matched homemade ornaments. That is my favorite kind of tree. I love it when I get to see different kinds and I know that there's some YouTubers that I really like that do extravagant, shiny, beautiful trees and I love to see them, but that's not my jam. I like just homemade kind of country Christmas. That's what I love. Addison's behind the camera, she's going, yeah, that's what we like. So I wanted to take this out and show you kind of how big it is. So it's got the little twine around the, the top so that this is what you'll drape it onto the branch with. But it jingles, isn't that cute? I thought they were fun and they will match my theme and I can't wait for you guys to see all the other decorations that I have. The next thing is actually something I didn't buy in a store. I made these. Do you remember my sign that I have on the front room of my house and it says, uh, you are my sunshine? I made that when I went to Nashville for my friend that I'm gonna be in her wedding for her bachelorette weekend. And we went to this amazing place called Brush and Board. That weekend, I got to make these for an additional $15 on top of the price that I paid for the You Are My Sunshine. But they're little Christmas tree blocks of wood. Aren't they cute? So I sanded the wood down. I stained the wood and then the Christmas trees are actually stencils and I got to choose the color paint that I liked and then I got to rough them up and distress them and then glaze them. So I thought these were super cute and I could set them out on a table or a shelf and they would just pop and be a little bit of Christmas that's homemade. And who knows, maybe I'll give one to my mom or a friend or somebody else that I think would enjoy it too. Up. I have to give another shout out to a YouTube friend, Laura Valverde. Honey, if I am saying your name wrong, I'm sorry. That's the Southern in me. She showed this beautiful little candle on her Christmas haul from Hobby Lobby. And it is milk and cookies in this cute white, it's almost like a mason jar glass with a little metal lid. Y'all, it smells exactly like cookies and milk. Ansley Ray can't read yet. She's working on her alphabet and her letters, but we were in the store together when we picked this up and she said, that smells like cookies and cream. And I was like, girl, it is. It's but totally she said this was a, Laura said this was a really strong scent. She was not lying. I can't wait to burn this and make my house smell like a bakery. It's awesome but i thought that was precious and it goes with my kind of country christmas theme okay the next thing i have to show you is not necessarily a decoration or a gift but it is something that i think is very necessary to christmas it's a paper cutter for wrapping presents now i don't claim to be the best wrapper in all honesty Holy my sweet husband goodness. will wrap the majority of the presents that we give to our children, to each other. He's even wrapped his own. I really don't have any shame. If he'll help, I'm gonna let him help. Y'all see me clean. But this is an amazing buy. If you've never used one, I highly suggest using them. I got this at Hobby Lobby and it cost $3.99, 50% off because it was with the Christmas stuff. It is so easy to just slide down your roll of paper and cut straight lines. It's awesome and it will really save you headache. This actually says that it'll curl ribbons too. I ain't figured it out because clearly I haven't opened it yet, but how awesome is that? It's a multi-functional tool. I'm all about it. I love breakfast food and Christmas morning breakfast is a meal I look forward to all year long. This girl is so serious about some eggs and country sausage, smoked sausage, country ham, bacon. Addison's in the floor going, bacon. Yes, it's all low carb goodness and I love Christmas morning breakfast. When my mom and our family get together, I thought these Ray Dunn goodies would be fun to share with everybody. The, the plates and the napkins, they don't exactly match, but I thought they looked fun together and it gave us a little different scene. So yeah, I thought that was cute. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you are teacher's gifts. 
if you're one of my children's teachers, now is the time to pause this video. I don't want you to not be surprised because I have two very thoughtful little girls who took the time to pick these out themselves. So Addison's teachers are getting these sweet pens. They're Ray Dunn and they say teach, love, and inspire. Aren't they pretty? What teacher doesn't deserve sweet little pins that say that and make them smile when they look down at them? And then we got them matching because she loves both of her teachers. We got a matching Ray Dunn uh, notepad set. So they say list to do and best teacher ever. We thought these were cute and unique. So maybe they won't get a bunch of the exact same thing. No. Ansley's teacher, my five-year-old who's in kindergarten, we love her. And any teacher that's watching this video, retired, current, you are a superhero. And know that I'm thankful for you every single day. And I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, mean that. But this is for Ansley's kindergarten teacher. Is that not precious? And it's so true. Oh, she picked this out and I love it. And this is for Miss Malia. It's a cute little Ray Dunn bag and it's got a little cute tassel on the side. And we thought Miss Malia could put her pens or something crayons. that crayons, mm -hmm. markers, whatever her little heart desires in there. And we thought she could get some use out of that. So I thought this was a good idea. The last of my home decor that I'm going to be sharing with you today, it's pillows and they're pillows for our bed, mine and Adam's master bed, and for our living room. If you haven't guessed, I have a Ray Dunn thing. If you can't tell thus far, I really like it. I think it's cute. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the new stuff that she's producing, but the old stuff, mm, I love it. Here's what I found, and this is actually the most expensive piece of the whole haul that I'm sharing with you today. I found this at Hobby Lobby and it was $40, not on 50% off clearance. So with tax, of course, that's a little bit over 40, but it says Noel and the first Noel is Adam's favorite Christmas Carol. So this pillow is gonna go on our bed and I have a Christmas throw that I'm gonna bring out and show you when I do my Christmas decorations, but this will go perfect. And also a little bonus, I am finally going to be replacing these gray and cream buffalo check pillows. We actually had a comforter set once upon a time that we used and I thought they were farmhousey, so I've been you know, using them for now, but the longer that I have them, the more I'm like, they got to go. So today it's Saturday, November 7th. I actually got on Amazon this morning when I woke up and I bought two new king size pillow shams. They will be here Monday. So hopefully in my next video, I'm gonna show them to you. And then I don't know if I told you guys the story behind these pillows, but I ordered these on Amazon thinking that they were gonna be like a mustard yellow. And my pictures come across really good on my YouTube video. So as you can see, it's kind of an orange color, but I said, you know what? I paid for them and I'm gonna use them, so I did. But it's time for me to get new covers because those aren't gonna be on there for Christmas. You guys need to stay tuned so that you can see what the new stuff looks like because I'm excited about it and I think it's gonna be cute and inspire you too for your homes. The second one, oh, da 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 da, it's Ray Dunn too. It has a black and white buffalo check trim around the edge of the pillow. And then the little, it's actually kind of like a, a bug, a slug bug, but it's got a little Christmas tree and says home for the holidays. And this one was $16.99 at TJ Maxx, so winning. Addison saw it and she's like, mom, pig needs this pillow so she can perch on it at Christmas time. And we were kind of like laughing about that, but this is Wednesday's couch pillow <laughs> for the holiday season so I thought you guys would like to see this too all right the last thing I'm going to show you today is a fun idea that my girls were thrilled with when I brought home because they've kind of wanted to do this for years, but I've not given in. So I went to Holly Bobby with Ansley Hobby Lobby, if you don't know, and we got mini Christmas trees. Here's what it looks like. These were on the 50% off with the Christmas decorations. So it was $9.99 before and then I got it 50% off. So Addison got one as well. And then they had these little bitty tiny ornaments that you can buy to decorate your tree. And they're super cute. 
They're called My Little Christmas. And I'm gonna show you Ansley's and then I'll show you Addison's. The trees aren't decorated yet. I'm gonna let the girls decorate them. This is the topper for Ansley's tree. And her theme is kind of like a Candyland Christmas. Addison and I picked this out for her today, but she picked out the other decorations. So these are little gumdrop ornaments that have little silver like tinsel on them so that we can hang them on the branches and she loved those they really do look like gumdrop candies she got this cute little garland and it's in the gumdrop shape and it's kind of got this looks like sugar crystals really on the garland so that's really cute and then she got these little wrapped hard candies and they also had that little like sugar frosting on there too. So we had to get some little hooks so that they could hang all their ornaments because I just don't think that little tinsel string, it might be, you know, strong enough. So look, these are even little tiny ornament hooks for the little tiny trees. Ansley got the Candyland Christmas decor and Addison, let me, show you. Do you want to come over and explain to them what you got? Sure. Addison. Okay, so for my topper, this is kind What's of... What's your theme? Oh, my theme is like what we have in our house, farmhouse. Mm -hmm. So I got this little like snowman hat. It has like little berries and a pine cone on it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that would look really cute on top of the tree. Oh, the topper. precious. It's so cute. And then I got... The, this like little jingle bell garland and it kind of matches the big jingle bells that I got for our tree so I really she picked all this out on her own this is probably my favorite item and then I got these little candy canes because we have a lot of candy canes that we made homemade so I'll just put these all over and then these are my second favorite I got these like little or they're ornaments and they have like little like little Christmas balls yeah and they're and sparkly these actually do match ours we don't have white ones but we have like these goldy mm -hmm. colored ones mm -hmm. so I thought this would look really cute and we actually do have a snowman hat that we use we do I think I'm gonna do burlap ribbons on the top of the tree Aww. and then little sprigs this year but okay. anyways it'll be fun so, so I thought that would look cute together. Yeah, so that's all I have to share with you guys today, but I hope that you're not disappointed that I'm not gonna be doing Christmas content until closer to the first part of December, but I have to be true to myself and I have to just follow the timeline that works for me and my family. So I hope you guys understand and I hope that you liked this video. I hope that it gave you some ideas about what maybe you could use in your home. If you guys made it to the end of the video, leave a Christmas tree emoji in the comments so that I know you watched it all the way through. Make sure that you have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up because I really appreciate your support. You guys are amazing and all 234 of you mean the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for being here. I hope that you have a blessed weekend and rest of the week. Whatever day you watch, I hope that you're blessed. And come back again. Bye guys.